Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we are going to learn how to solve Amazon's hanging cable interview question. This is a pretty famous problem. A cable of 80 meters is hanging from the top of two poles that are both 50 meters from the ground. What is the distance between the two poles to one decimal place if the center of the cable is 10 meters above the ground? I want you to take a moment and see if you can come up with the answer to this question. Remember, to one decimal place. Once you have an answer, let me know down in the comment section below. Other than that, we're gonna dive right in. So now let's go look at our picture. We have our cable in blue hanging between two poles. Each of these poles are 50 meters high and the cable dangles to be 10 meters above the ground. We wanna find the distance between these two poles. So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna need some formula to help us out. And to get that formula or to use it, let's go rewrite this image a little bit. Let's make this into a coordinate plane. I'm gonna make right here the x-axis, and this is my y-axis right here. I'm gonna split this exactly in half, right there. But notice I'm gonna raise up the x-axis 10 meters to be right there at the cusp of the cable. And this formula we're going to end up being used, are using is called the general can cantonary equation. Ah, I can never say that right. And so we have some coordinate points that might help us out here. We want to find what this length is called x. And we know the height here is going to be x comma a height of 40. Remember, 50 meters is the whole thing, subtract 10, gives us a height of 40 from our coordinate plane. And the equation that's going to help us here, the general catenary, catenary, ah, that's how I say, equation, is this. Y equals A cosh of X over A minus A. And now we're going to fill in values that we know. Our Y value is going to be 40 here. So we have 40 equals A cosh of, well, X over A minus A. Now we're going to simplify this, bring the uh, A over to the left side, and kind of slip it around. We have an A cosh of, just doing some simplification here, is equal to 40 plus A. Then from there, divide both sides by A, and we get a good old cosh of X over A equals 40 plus A over A. Now this by itself doesn't really help us. We're gonna use a second equation here, the half of cable length equation. In this equation, we can apply it here, is a A cinch of an X over A is equal to that 40 again. From there, divide both sides by A, and we have cinch, <laughs> or the C, it's an S there, Sean. Cinch of an X over A equals 40 over A. Now from here we can use some laws that we know and we know that the cosh squared of a variable t minus the cinch squared of a variable t is equal to 1. So plugging that in we can replace that and we have since the cosh of x over A is equal to 40 plus A over A we can rewrite this to be a 40 plus a over a squared minus next part here. This becomes a 40 over a squared, and that's going to equal 1. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to solve for a here, and we can use that to plug it back in to get the length of x, and we can solve this problem. But there's an issue here. Do you know what the issue is? We cannot actually solve for a. There's no solution. For a. So what, is, what happens here? What is, what's going on? Well, the trick here is this problem actually can't be solved. And this is an important interview question for them. And I think the to one decimal place really is the kicker here that makes you think that you can solve this problem. And the answer is actually going to be, well, zero. Let's look at, look at this and think of it logically. The cable itself has a length of 80 meters, which means each half one here is 40 meters, and this one here is 40 meters. Well, if the height here to the bottom part where they're 
that are reaching, it goes down, the cable goes down to be 40 meters there. Well, what happens? These uh, poles here actually are coming together. They need to come together, and by doing that, that's the only way we have a cable, half cable length of 40 meters, which makes this thing really look like two poles that are just right next to each other that are zero meters apart, and this cable kind of just hangs right in between them, and that would be 40 meters on each side. So the answer here really is the two poles are zero meters apart, and you can solve that just by using logic. And so that's why I think this is a great problem, great interview question to see if the applicants just quickly dive into a problem, see if they can solve it mathematically, instead of actually thinking about the problem and seeing, well, is there another way you can solve this as logically or if the problem makes sense, which is a great interview question. So if you were tricked by this problem and you were puzzled what the answer was, now you know, and if you ever interview at Amazon, you'll know how to do it just right. Okay, so we want to find what this overall distance between the two poles are. Okay. Let's look at our picture here. We have our cable here in blue. We have 50 meters for each pole that are in green. And we can see that the, well, the cable hangs at 10 meters below the ground. And we want to find, well, the length of the cable. So we have our picture here. We have our cable right now. Okay, and we have R in blue. And we... I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.